Hello and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. So today we are going to discuss something more about vector calculus and in that under the section of vector calculus we are going to discuss about Green's theorem. So basically Green's theorem states that if you have let's say two functions, two curves, uh, two functions of that curve and you want to find out the region um, or area then what you can do the integral under that curve and take do those two functions, differentiate, integrate them with respect to x and y and you have to find out the left hand side, thereafter find out the right hand side, they will be equal according to Green's theorem. So one for partial differentiation and then double integral and one direct integration, both will be the same. Let's try this with the help of an example. You can see here, you need to verify your Green's theorem for this area, this region, where curve is bounded by a line and a parabola. So first of all, make the figure. You know y is equal to x if you put y as 1, x would be 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. So it would be straight line passing through origin, right? And this is y is equal to x squared, so this would be the parabola. Okay, so y equals x squared. Let's say this is your curve 1 and this is your curve 2. I need to find out the region here. Okay, first of all find out the intersection point. You can see here it is origin and intersection point B. So you have y is equals to x. If you put this value into this, you can put your y square as well. You can take it y square minus y equals 0. You can take y common, y minus 1. So y would be 0 or 1. So if you put 0, so 0, that would be the origin. And if you put 1 here, then x would be the 1. So 1 comma 1 is your intersection point. All right? Thereafter, you need to find out, apply this green square, take left hand side. So let's say your one function is this. See, compare, this is f1 dx plus f2 dy, okay? So your f1 is xy plus y square and f2 is x square, right? Now, if you find out the left hand side, so that would be something for under the curve 1 and for 2, right? So let's find for curve 1. We have already taken or assumed curve 1 as y is equals to x square, right? So dy would be 2x dx, right? Now substitute the values. Here f1 is xy plus y square dx plus x square dy. Now. This is your question for curve 1. Now, if you substitute y as x square here, so if you put x square, so this would be x cube. If you put x square here, it would be x raised to power 4 dx plus x square and dy is 2x dx. So that means 2x, that means x cube dx, right? Now, because you are considering this curve, y is equal to x square, right? This is your curve 1. Where is it? Here. This is your curve 1, y is equal to x square. So, this curve is moving from origin to 1, 1. So, because you uh, have the values in terms of x, so value of x ranging from 0 to 1, right? Now, open this. So you know how to integrate this, x raised to the power 4 by 4, x raised to the power 5 by 5, plus 2x raised to the power 4 by 4, right? 0 to 1, you can cancel this, or else you can take, it would be easier if you can simply add them up, 3x4 by 4, x5 by 5. So on putting 1 here, so 3 by 4, Upper limit minus lower limit, so 1 by 5, 20, 15 and 4, 
19, right? Now again, for curve 2, curve 2 which was y equals x, right? That means dy equals dx. Again, this form, so this was for c1 and this is for c2. Once after finding this, we will put here and we will get the final answer, okay? So here, this is your c2. So I'm putting, I'm considering this. Now if you apply y as x, so put instead of x, you can put y, okay? So for this curve, for this curve, y is equals to x, it is varying from 1 to 0, right? So 1 to 0. Now x square, this is x square, right? Because you are putting y as x, dx plus x square, dx, right? So x square, x square, 2x square, 3x square, dx, limit 0, 1 to 0. So 3x cube by 3, or 1 to 0. So upper limit, that is 0, minus lower limit, that is 1, right? So now adding these two up, you will get your final answer here. What is it? First one, which is 19 by 20. Second one, minus 1. So that is minus 1 by 20. All right. Now we need to verify Green's theorem. We have taken so far left hand side. Find the value out. We have found out. Now, in terms of right hand side, what we can do? See. For right hand side, you can see partial differentiation of f2 with respect to x. So, what is your f2? This. With respect to x. So, that would be 2x minus partial differentiation of f1 with respect to y. So, x would be the constant. For y, differentiation is 1 plus 2y, okay, this is your, this part, now you are double integrating with respect to x and y, now for the limits, you know, what is y, you can see that y is x and x square, so x square to x it is ranging, correct, and x is ranging from 0 to 1. Correct? So, 2x minus x is x minus 2y. Integration x squared to x, 0 to 1, dx dy. Now, firstly, integrate with respect to y. So, this is xy minus 2y squared by 2. Limit x squared to x. Correct? So, um, thereafter, limit, now if you put upper limit minus lower limit, this is x, so x square, my, only in place of y, okay? So 2 is cancelled with 2, minus x square, minus lower limit, so x cube, minus minus plus, x raised to power 4, right? Now, with respect to x. So this is cancelled. Now what is left? x raised to power 4 minus x cube 0 to 1 dx, right? So this is x raised to power 5 by 5 minus x raised to power 4 by 4 limit 0 to 1, right? So on putting 1, 1 by 5 minus 1 by 4 4 minus 5, minus 1. You can see both of these answers. Where was it? Final answer. Um, on adding here, you can see both of these answers are equal. The, that means Green's theorem is verified. I hope you understand this topic and if so, try to do some more questions and we'll discuss the rest of the topic in our next class. Take care till then. Bye.